Hey everybody, I have a new book today. I'm so excited. I literally just got it. Um, I walked outside and there it was. I didn't even know it was coming. Thank you, Patrick, for sending this to me. It's Myths and Monsters 3. I love this series. I am so excited that I got another one. Um, I've showed you guys one and two. I'll post it at the end of the video where you can find them. Um, this one is so great and there's something different about this one that I'm so excited to show you guys. Um, <clears throat> to the back. Um, we've got Thor on the cover here. And remember it's M. Patrick Duggan. Myths and Monsters. And it's uh, Myths, Monsters, and Art Nouveau. That's what I like about it. It's just so cool. Alright, we got a, um, a page here all about Patrick and why he does these books and his history and everything. Um, I'm just excited. I want to get to the, um, the meat of the book. Look at this. Um, let me go up a little closer. I always have trouble pronouncing the words. Well, look what he did. He has the pronunciation here now. I'm so excited. Thank you, thank you. <laughs> so, that is a great addition to the book. So now I can actually pronounce these, hopefully, these characters. Like, this one is Abuk. Um, let's see... I'm not going to read everything because it's very, very interesting. It took me a while to read everything um, on the last book. So I'm going to read this one later on tonight. I haven't colored in it at all. I was just so excited. I wanted to show you guys how beautiful it is. It's just like you're used to with his books. Stunningly beautiful. I mean, look at her. She is gorgeous. This one is a shawl. This is Grief. She's Irish. Let's see. Look at her hair. How beautiful is that? And I love how he borders everything. It's stunning. I just don't know which one I want to color first. Aries. War. Greek. Roman. One of the original 12 Olympians. Look at him. I love it. I love that around a little circle like that. Isn't that cool? Okay. This one is Aryan Rude. Hope. Fertility, Rebirth, and the Weaving of Cosmic Time and Fate. Look at her. Beautiful. Okay. We got Atlas. A titan who was condemned to hold up the sky for eternity. I love him. Oh, this is so pretty. Gorgeous. Balder. He is a god in North mythology. Look at those flowing locks he's got. Black eyed people. This is, um, very interesting. Uh, possessed zombies, aliens worldwide. Uh, black eyed people, also known as black eyed children, appear to be possessed with solid black eyes. They're occasionally reported to have bluish skin. Um, it's a good read. Very creepy. I had not heard of this one. Look at him. Isn't he creepy? I love it. Bridget, one of the most important goddesses of Irish mythology. Nice. These are single-sided. Um, thin paper. Just protect your work. Non-perforated. Calypso. Look how beautiful she is. I love her dress. I love all the different little designs that he does. Danu, Mother of the Gilts. She's beautiful. I love this gem on top of her head. 
just really, really stunning. Um, this one is Irish Kiggle. Irish Kiggle. Irish Kiggle. Close enough. Ancient Mesopotamian symbol of nature during winter. See Persephone and Blue Corn Maiden. Okay, yeah, that's in his other book. She also is the sister of Ishtar. Look at her. Look at the wings. I love her hat. She is badass. She's just gorgeous. Hades, Underworld, The Dead, and Riches. He is the brother of Zeus and Poseidon. Look at him. Love it. Theos. He lived in a golden palace under the river Okanos. Nice. Jason. Hero. Greek. Oh, Jason and the Argonauts. What a great movie. I love his shield. Jenny Greenteeth was known for luring children in with offers of song, candy, or friendship, and then she would drown them in a bog. Lovely. Here's old Jenny. Beautiful but creepy. Uh, Kingu. Consort of the goddess Timat, who was also his mother, because that's how they rolled in those days. Wow. There he is. Just all those details are so grateful. Loviatar, the maiden of pain. She was the blind daughter of Tuno Tuoni, the god of death, and his wife Tunotar, queen of the underworld. Wow. Oh yeah, she's holding a heart with blood coming down her arm and a knife. I love her dress. We're not going to mess with her. Ah, she's beautiful. Lou. Lou was one of the most popular gods in Irish mythology. He was a hero and high king who united Ireland. Oh, cute. Love it. Mott. Okay, Mott is interesting. Mott needed to rest his feet in the lap of a virgin unless he was at war or he would die. <laughs> okay. And here he is. Mm hmm. Morpheus, one of our, um, I live in New Orleans and we have a lot of parades down here and there, a lot of them are named after the, um, goddesses and things when we do have a Morpheus parade. Morpheus, I love, love, love it. Morrigan. Raven goddess of the Celts. So all about fate and doom and battle. She also presides over rivers, lakes, and fresh water. Nice. Beautiful. Look at the feathers coming out of her. Right here and right here and on top of her head. Moors. He was the personification of death. Basically looked like a skeleton in a robe. Wow. Yep, that's a skeleton. Creepy. Oh, I can just see how pretty this would be with the background and this creepy skeleton. Gold goblet. Nice. A low room. West African ruler of heaven. 
The oracles named him as one of the three supreme deities. He is associated with the sun. Many believe he's also part of a great life force connecting all humans. And he's gorgeous. Well, love the background on me. I just can't get enough of these books. I love them. This is a great picture. I love his lines. They're clean. They look great. Prometheus was a titan from the pre-Olympia area who managed to survive the big war with Zeus, only to wind up tied to a rock with an eagle eating his liver every day. <laughs> Prometheus. Poor guy. Puka. Um, this creature is a spirit who brings both good and bad fortune. They're also shape changers. I've heard of the Puka before. I love this creepy guy though. This is neat. Um, yeah, I'm liking the skeleton and this guy. I like the creepy... Pukwudgie? Pukwudgie. I'm going to go with that. Diminutive creatures who resemble humans, but with exaggerated features. Okay. Oh, look at him. He's got like vampire teeth. Great. I love it. Thea. Thea was a titan, a type of divine being who predated Zeus, Athena, and the other Olympians. She gave birth to the sun, moon, and possibly the stars. Wow. Here she is. Look how beautiful. That hair. She's gorgeous. Thor. Thunder, lightning, storms, oak trees, strength. He was one of the most important and famous gods in North mythology. He was also the son of Odin. There he is. Nice. That's from the cover. I have a cousin named Thor. Just thought I'd throw that in there. Vivora. Lithuanian mythology. Still a living religion right up to the 17th century. The story songs and Vavora. Vavora, the planet Mercury. Look at her, she's beautiful. I love this background. Thackerine, the evening star. First light of the night. I love her. I think I'm going to color her first because I love this dress. The flowing, I love the background. Yeah, I think I might do her first. When I do um, my pictures, I'll post them on my Instagram. It's also Orion's Girl 93 if you guys want to go check it out. I have the link down at the bottom. That's where I post a lot of my finished pictures at. And here's the, um, the, um, the author's page all about and Patrick Duggan and here's his resource page and then there is a couple of pages that I use to just test my colors out back of the book um, the spine of the book it's that nice soft material real heavy-duty nice book he's got a lot of pages in here I don't think it says how many there are. No, but he has a lot of them. Uh, definitely get your money's worth. I was hoping it said no. I just love how he combines the mythology with the Art Nouveau. It's just, it's one of a kind. It's different. Um, you don't see that a lot. I really enjoy his books. I think I'm literally one of his biggest fans <laughs> at this point.
if you want to check this book out, I have a link down at the bottom where you can purchase it. And um, if you have any questions or comments, um, leave them down at the bottom and I'll get back to you as soon as I possibly can. Thanks so much for watching and um, hit that like button and subscribe if you haven't. Thank you. Bye-bye.